Here comes Hepburn racing on up. And Hepburn, open three, long one, and that's good! How about Chucky Hepburn right there? Right there for three. Yeah, Hepburn's been impressive here in his debut as it was. Little pass, moves it around. Cubbage driving on in, the Badgers suffocating. And the ball lost there. Davis picks it up. Davis going on in, and he slams it down! Oh, my goodness! And another look at that one right there, Cade. Davis is through the contact. No foul, but he'll take it nonetheless. Wisconsin up by 18 here in Madison. Chucky Hempburn goes back out to Wall. Had a shot. Now to Davis going right on in. Look at Davis going up, and he gets it in a foul. And we go into a timeout. Johnny Davis gets his first buckets of the night. And the Badgers up by two. And they'll get the last shot. Hempburn. Weaving on in, takes a shot, and that's good! Chucky Hepburn at the buzzer! He's got to finish that. He's looked much better than last year, Cosmo. Cosmo, he's lost a lot of weight. A tough shot, too, but a good three. A drought now, four minutes and 10 seconds for Wisconsin. A 10 nothing Providence run on going, but a sloppy inbounds pass taken away by Davison trying to end the run. Then they ran last year under Buzz Williams. A lot of changes on both ends of the floor. Got to keep an eye on Brad Davison from beyond the arc. No double on Stephen Crowell this time, and he spins to the baseline for the jam. Davis nearly turned it over. The Aggies very active at the defensive end. Pressure again on Crowell, and he finds Davis underneath. Well, Crowell was very smart. He didn't panic, dribbled out of it. Some three and a half assists per game. Gets a lot of steals, had a huge steal against Hofstra to essentially give him a chance to win the game. What a great pass by Chris Vogt. Got the ball into the middle. Yeah, it's Vogt again. Vogt. That was a really good pass out of the double team to get the ball to the middle to Vogt, and he immediately looked down to the baseline to the cutting Ben Carlson. Crowd back into the game now with three fouls. Too much dribbling. Tough one from the baseline, and it goes down again for Tyler Wall. He's in the right hand. He is amphibious and late clock. But really good spacing for St. Mary's. That Kuzi in the corner. That was good for the Celtics for a long time. <laughs> Davis in the post. Look at this turnaround. Look at that play. He is just coming back from a back injury. Made his first appearance of the season in the semifinal win yesterday. Boy, what a great job by Davis. Johnson off with that little drag ball screen by Crowell and then just turned the corner and went right after the secondary defender being Saxon. Went right into his chest, knocked his first bucket today. Yeah, at four. Yeah, that's 11. That puts him 11th in the Big East in scoring. Davis on the Oh, hard double team on the pass. So getting a look at what Wisconsin's going to do defensively. Miller Cop had it blocked away by Davis. Jackson Davis, though, that one doesn't go. Thompson going for the board. In the Big Ten, the Hoosiers have hit their last three from the field after starting. Oh, for six. Now Davis Ooh. through the lane, and he throws it down. We told you about Johnny Davis. Well, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. TJD. Runs into our broadcast Russell. table, stays in play, and now Davis has it. What a play by Brad Davis. They're just getting on the floor and taking that basketball. And you know what? Rewards always seem to come. Brad Davison has been off to a heck of a three-game stretch right here. And what a start for him. Getting on the floor, getting up, waltzing in to the front court, finding yourself wide open and knocking down. We said we're going to be a streaky team in terms of shooting the basketball. Davison will try again, and he knocks down another. And the Badgers take the lead. The threes starting to fall, and Brad Davison heating up in Columbus. Yeah. Taking it like two from Wisconsin. Yeah. And the answer from the other zero, Jacoby Neath on the board, showing Gordon he can do that. A little game of horse going here. Underneath, they work it to Wall. Oh, extra pass, a beautiful vote who finishes it all. He'll go to the line for one more. Great ball movement. Great extra pass by Neath to Vogt. 
Look, you have to be impartial, but you cannot help but cheer for Chris Vogt. Turnover into the hands of the freshman Hepburn. Step through, up and under, and kisses. Freeman to kind of go past him. You'll see here, step through, Euro, loop it up. Nice finish from Chucky Hepburn. Put a little English on it, okay. <laughs> a true freshman playing over 30 minutes a game for Greg Gard. Crowell gives it up to Hepburn, and he buries a three. That's his second. That's Johnny Davis off the catch, going and making a play, getting to that pull-up that we've talked about so much. Well, we didn't have any turnovers through the first six and a half minutes. Now two of them on back-to-back -back possessions for Purdue and back-to-back -back buckets for Davis. Stepping back, and then a turnover. Chucky Hepburn looking up the floor. Davis running the floor, and so far, Wisconsin. Largest lead for Purdue at seven. Underneath both, throwing it down, and the foul as well on Travion Williams. Some issues with the post double tonight, but you just get caught falling asleep. Chris Vogt cutting right down the paint. From the elbow, good catch by Vogt, rejected by McCaffrey. And now Murray in the open floor. Hepburn trying to pick his pocket, and he does. The freshman gets the better of him, and to the other end for two. Defensive play. Well, Chucky Hepburn's a lot stronger than most freshman guards. And he stayed with the play. It looked like Murray was going to be able to come up with it. For Johnny Davis, 25 or more, I should say, for the former Mr. Basketball in the state of Wisconsin. Davison has to launch, and Davison hits. Davison clears the space once he catches. Watch, see how he cleared and got his feet set at the same motion. Up as well, looking to try to deter passes inside. and kind of makes everybody at the top particularly bigger. Here's Wall found a crease, and he is hammered from behind, but the strength of Wall still. Score the bucket and a three-point triumph coming for number five. Kind of poor execution right there by the Terrapins. Simon Wright up just a little too high, not protecting the paint. Leading by seven, but Ohio State is on the move in this game. Davison with five to shoot, and Brad Davison on the step back turned his body in midair. Oh, contortionism. Wow. He, he rises, but he understands it's the only way he can get a shot off. He's been struggling a little bit. Shoulders aren't even squared on the step back. Gets the shot off. and Baseline effort batted away on the shot down low from Davis. And it's taken away. Wall ball continues. It's Wisconsin. I hate to say simple things like showing a lot of fight. But they are. They're making plays. They're making winning plays. Oh, Wisconsin. Get you in that grinder. Down low to Davison. First two goes to the fifth-year senior. Wow. What a move to finish the half. And now Hepburn from half court, and it goes, and it counts. Chucky Hepburn sends Wisconsin into the locker room with a flourish. I'd say that's the highest degree of difficulty. No question he got that one off. Yeah, that right on line, off glass. Chucky Hepburn, oh, this is a great angle. Coming right at you. Off glass, and he calls it. Or a frenetic finish to the first half. Davis, fifth leading score in the country. Back out to Hepburn, open three, and Chucky Hepburn starting to find his range from the outside. Yes, he is. You know it's been a difficult week when the game is the relief on the road. <laughs> and it's been that kind of week for Michigan State as Davis hammers it home. Maybe that'll light a fire. Well, watch Hepburn's hit. His eyes are looking at Johnny the whole time. And Davis showing you some hang time. Staying up there for a little bit. Huskers, three to shoot. And Hepburn hits. How about that? Whether it was Lowy, whether it's Southern, you cannot come off of him even an inch. And here Davison disrupting and saving it. Lauren Bowman. His fist. Knocks in the three, but he does the dirty work as well. It's just a 50. Chuck and Cutters or Chuck and Kofi, you got to find a way. Davison fading and oh. count the bucket. He got hit on the elbow by Frazier. Brad Davison, you got to be aware. He is coming off to shoot this on these pin downs. I think Bo Borowski got him on the initial contact. You see right 
there as he bumped him. Now it's not on the contest. He might be able to make it. One of 15 now from the field, and Wall throws down the jam on the other end. Wisconsin is having deja vu of their last game against Penn State, where both teams were just ice cold to start. Up, up top, and the oh. slam. Big Carlson climbing the ladder at 6'9". Nice back screen there by Davison. Yet tonight, he's 0 of 6, gives it up. Fading away, and that drops welcome back home Lauren Bowman the Detroit native with his first bucket well, take a look Lauren Bowman gets it off hits every bit of the rim they defend on that end they're making shots and they're defending on this and right now they're into passing lanes they're playing as five hard take body bucket and one that time for Crow Johnny Davis trying to hunt down his first points a guy who Averages about 21 points and he distributes there. Of Johnny Davis' development, you've got three Rutgers players and he's still able to find Chris Vogt for the finish. Yeah, Stephen Crowell guarding Trace Jackson Davis inside, just a deflection. And Indiana cannot afford to have empty possessions. Here is Johnny Davis with a hard cut for the first two. Because you're going to see a lot of back screens, a lot of screen for the screener action from Wisconsin. Hepburn off the window. That is a tough shot for Chucky Hepburn, the freshman. Early on, Michigan out rebounding Wisconsin 6 to 2. Houston is rejected on the baseline, and the long rebound out to Davison. He's going into the ball game. He had a wide open lane, and he rises and scores. Now, Minnesota going to this 1 3 1 zone that we saw them play a lot against Northwestern, and Chris Vogt just. Flashes right into that high post area. He's looking to pass to Tyler Wall. He's looking to throw a skip pass. Uh, Jordan Davis picks up his dribble. It's three to shoot. Has to be Crowell. Right hand. Glass, yes! It's Steven Crowell. It's been some of the other guys. That last Wisconsin offensive. In the second half alone in that loss to Rutgers. Man. So Wisconsin right there giving Rutgers some of its own medicine. And Davis at the elbow. I'd say that's his spot, Stephen, but he's got about nine of them out there on the floor. <laughs> that's a good point. Well, you take a look at Johnny Davis, and he's going up against probably the premier defensive player in the Big Ten Conference, Caleb McConnell. Caleb is 6'7". And so Davis does a great job to use his five fouls, and Wisconsin doesn't have that luxury. Yeah, Tom Izzo can quickly become Phil Jackson in that way as Davis pulls up and fires a bullet for Crowell. Just a terrific decision by Johnny Davis. Five seconds to go. Chucky Hepburn, Big Ten on the line. Yes! And you've got an All-American guarding you. Look at the space he creates. When he gets away from Ivy, and glass is good, apparently, in Madison tonight because that's back-to-back -back shots where their guards have gone glass and they could end up winning them the league. And the numbers for Nebraska. Verge on the run, trying to bounce it to Mayan. Good hands by both to take it away. And now Davison at the other end with an easy two. Boy, we talked about how good they've been not turning the ball over. It changes in a heartbeat. Hepburn looking up the floor. Davidson on the run out. Wisconsin trying to get. Davis gets the angle, lays it up and in, and he's fouled. First bucket of the night for Johnny Davis. Davis able to finally get some separation from his man. It was that little shoulder shimmy coming off the ball screen. He freezes Jaden Akins. Takes that contact getting downhill. Seen that all season.